Thank you for calling your Jeffrey Super Center. How may I direct your call? Hey, ma'am. Hello? Can I have your name, please? You're not going to believe this. What? My name is Jeffrey Hudson. Uh-huh. I came in through the uh, parking lot on the back side because my house is about a mile from the woods, and I found a body. What? Behind, I found, yeah, I found a body behind your store. Are you kidding? Nope. I mean, he looks like he's barely breathing. I think he's dying. And uh, he looks like he has a, a needle in his arm. Let me check. Yeah, he, yeah, he has a needle sticking out of his arm. Are you are you serious? Or are you just pulling my leg? No, I'm serious. So Did you, you call the like, cops? No, they told me to call you because they didn't believe me, and they said, "Well, get, oh. get they huh? said get what well, they told me to get Walmart security to go check on it." Well, we don't have uh, security tonight, but we have some managers. But uh, where's it at? Is behind the Walmart building yes. by the church? Yeah, yeah, right by the church. Exactly, you nailed it. Are you sure you called the cops? Yeah, I did. They said that. They thought I was playing games. I said, sir, I found a body back here. And they said, well, call Walmart, and you discuss it with them because it's on their property. They have to take care of that business. Okay, well, I'll tell them, but if they, they may be telling me this well, is a hoax. Will you stay on the phone with me because I'm, I'm, I'm seriously upset. I've never came across the dead body, and this, this is freaking me out. Like, I'm going to throw up. <coughs> it smells so bad, and it's disgusting. Can I uh, put you on hold for a second? Yeah, you just keep me on the phone, please. Okay. Are you still over there? Yeah, I'm still here. Am I st can you hear me? Because my cell phone's cutting in and out. Can you hear me? Yeah, they're going back there right now. Well, who's uh, they? I got who. I I don't know if this is a setup. If I'm going to get jumped or not. I mean, I don't know either. Well, All I know is that the overnight manager and the support manager that we have, Johnny Banks, is it's a man and a woman. Well, I'm going to tell you uh, right now, this nigga, this nigga right here, nigga, is dead. This nigga is dead. He, he's dead. He ain't, he ain't got a pulse. He ain't got no vital signs. His eyes roll to the back of his head. He ain't breathing. His lips are purple. The nigga's dead. Straight up dead. Deader than a doornail. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. But it's less one nigger I have to pay welfare to. That's how I look at it. I mean, that's I'm a I'm a racist motherfucker. What do you expect? Uh, are you still over there by the body? Yeah, I'm right by the body. I'm do you gonna see have anybody? To... Do you see anybody coming around behind Walmart? No, I'm in the wooded area. The, I'm about a thousand feet from the docking, from the loading dock. Yeah. They, I'm about a thousand feet into the woods. Well, I don't know what they're coming over there. What are you doing over there in the woods? I'm having sex with this dead body. What do you? What do you I'm smoking crack. No. What do you think? I'm. I came through to come to your store to buy some diapers for Eugene, my my uh, son Eugene. Yeah. Yeah, he wears diapers. He's 48 years old and he needed diapers. I I, I uh -huh, take care. Of him. Yeah. Has, uh huh. He has horrible scoliosis, so he poops himself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So you gotta laugh at me about it. Uh huh. Uh-huh, that's what I can say, too. Uh-huh, that's a dead body. Get Deal with it.